most ghastly error. Harry shell shocked as Charles's pal proves Duke is LED by the nose by Meghan. Veteran broadcaster Jonathan Dimbleby has branded Prince Harry as not the brightest and claimed he is led by the nose by wife Meghan. In a brutal assessment, he dismissed their bombshell interview with US TV's Oprah Winfrey last year as the most ghastly error of judgment. The 77 year old longtime presenter of BBC Radio 4's Any Questions? said of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, I suspect that Harry is led by the nose by Meghan Markle. He's entering a sort of vortex in which they will become less and less significant as a couple. As she gets older, as he gets older, they will matter less because the celebrity on which they trade will become less valuable. And it's a very great shame because when I met him he was absolutely charming, a lovely, lovely young guy. Not the brightest in the world but filled with generosity of spirit. Dimbleby became a personal friend and biographer of Prince Charles after interviewing him on TV in 1994 when the royal sensationally confessed his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. Charles insisted their relationship only resumed after his marriage to Princess Diana had irretrievably broken down. In an interview with The Times, Dimbleby referred to the claims by Harry, 37, on US TV that he flew to the UK this month to make sure the Queen was protected and has got the right people around her. The presenter said sarcastically, so you've sworn in to check that the people who are very close to her are the right people? Thank you very much. I mean, your wisdom, Harry, is well worth it, I have no doubt. And now you're zooming out again. Dimbleby also said the Sussexes claims in their Oprah interview that a member of the royal family had concerns about the color of their baby's skin were deeply unfair. He demanded, who the hell was it supposed to be? That is the wickedness of it, it allows you to speculate. And why do you make such a smear? I thought that interview was, to put it kindly, the most ghastly error of judgment on their part. Meanwhile, a royal expert has claimed, Prince Harry's suggestion that he has a really special relationship with his grandmother in a recent US TV interview are likely to prove damaging in helping heal the rift between the Duke of Sussex and the royal family. Speaking during the latest episode of True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, commentator Roya Nikhar described Harry's admission that he still has a close relationship with the Queen, 96 in spite of his controversial 2020 move to California as likely to be incendiary and triggering for the rest of his family, who are around for the Queen all the time. Harry, 37, has been accused of playing up his relationship with the Queen to ensure he maintains credibility in America amid the Sussexes deal with Netflix. Speaking to NBC's Today Show about his meeting with the Queen earlier this month, the Royal said, It was great, it was just so nice to see her, she's on great form. She's always got a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure that she's protected and got the right people around her. Both Meghan and I had tea with her, so it was really nice to catch up with her. He also told the show's host, Hoda Kotb, that he continues to have a really special relationship with his grandmother. Royal expert Nick Hart told the Royal Beats host Kate Thornton, that comment was quite triggering for the rest of his family, who are around the Queen all the time and I'm sure who the Queen does confide in quite a lot. She added, there is no doubting that those two, the Queen and Prince Harry, have an incredibly special, close relationship. But I think to say to an American network, knowing these comments are going to go around the world, and come right back at your family, that the Queen tells Harry things that she feels she cannot tell any other member of her family who see her much more regularly, it just felt quite incendiary.